Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more wor World of Tanks. As we uh, we realize nobody knows how to drive in this game. That's uh, it's very interesting. I love this tank. Um, I've just been staring at the decals for a long time. Then I realized I should probably actually just start recording. Um, but I really, really want one now. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, for those who didn't know, the Carnarvon was my favorite tier 8 heavy tank. Um, yeah. I know, kind of weird, right? But anyway, so this is a, obviously a tier 9 game on cliffs. Um, we are in a Carnarvon Action X. This is the, the, the new premium that just came out a little while ago. And World of Tanks winner, which is the best name ever, by the way, has decided he's going to go and dominate the center of the map with this. Um, I'm going to say he's playing in the European server because uh, French is not normally spoken over here in North America. Unless you're looking at Quebec, in which case, we don't talk about Quebec. <laughs> huh. If uh, if you live in Quebec, then you understand that Ontarians and, and Quebecans have always had this nice little rivalry going on. And if you don't get that, I don't care. Um... Oh, getting hit by the T95 uh, takes out his driver, so he fixes that. Thankfully, it was only a tiny T95 gun, and not the massive one that could have killed us in you know two hits. Because that would have been bad. Getting hit by that would have been bad. So using this spot, he can fire down on his opponents. Was this really what he wants to be doing in this tank anyway? This tank is designed for looking down on on enemies and firing at them so he's gonna be at, if he does this right um, with the angle that they're gonna be shooting back at him they're gonna be bouncing off the top of this turret most of the time this 112 was backed up to a point where we can shoot him in the side so there's no reason we can't shoot him in the side and again we just watch stuff bounce off of us our lure plate is the only thing they can really pen at this angle and um, oops I didn't even see there was a T32 there it was low health but obviously there was follows the laser back and takes pot shot back at the 112 yeah he checks his armor just like I did a second ago and he can tell that he is secure there the lower glaces is the only part that they can pen him and with that hidden by that little ridge of rocks he is perfectly safe you can see the other action X or can I run action X on the other side of the rock doing the same thing up until he gets destroyed because he wasn't paying attention and not paying attention can get you killed faster than anything else T95 not paying attention oh whiffs the first shot over the top of him gonna put the second into the fuel tank nope goes low does not hit the fuel tank um actually hits underneath that is a hard weak point to hit but uh, he just snapped off a shot and penned it. And that looks like it went into the Capoa. Now whether or not it went through did any damage, I don't know. We're not going to know for a little while. But um, right now that looked good. Driving backwards. <laughs> okay. Thankfully the T95 was either not there or not loaded. And, um, and we get away with this maneuver. I'm going to speed up a little bit. Because it's going to take him forever to climb this hill otherwise. Um, and now we're on top of this hill. We can really start dominating this map. Um, of course, that's assuming we don't give them clean shots at our lower glaciers. There we go. Hold down with only one artillery on the map. Do have to watch out for him. Can fire down into this meal. Because we're firing down into the meal, a lot of the meal's armor is immediately negated. And you can pen that thing so much easier if you're firing down onto it, rather than if you're looking up at it. If you're looking up at it, it's almost impenetrable. Looking down on it, though, it's just butter all the way through. A lot, actually, like this tank. Weird, right? Um, looking down on the object. And now, because he's looking at the object, and he's in this position, he's actually got the, um, the lighthouse behind him meaning he's unlikely to get hit by artillery fire and he can fire into this guy's engine deck so he doesn't even need to worry about his armor spots even the uh... the parts that are like the, the hardest to pen on a, an object 
uh, the sides are e really easy from this angle because he's firing down and those um, tri triangular body isn't actually a bonus for this object at this point in time. It, it actually just helps us kill him faster. Uh, that V-shaped tall, right? Normally, it's a plus for him. But uh, when we're this high up and shooting down into him, it's not a plus for him. Now, T95 is again going to try and shoot us. T95 still has a gun that can hurt. But this high up, it's going to be hard for him to hit anything that matters. And we can hit him. Loading some... No, still loading AP. Firing into the weak underbelly of the sank. Farmed so much damage so far. Just uh, over 3,500 damage. He's looking on closing in on 4,000 damage. Auto locks onto the 112 so you can drive while getting. And for the first time, you get hit by artillery. And you realize that this tank is incredibly fragile. <gasps> Holy smokes. You can die doing that from full health. So, unless you really know what you're doing, don't, don't, don't cliff dive in World Tanks anymore. I mean, you used to be able to, you used to be able to bomb yourself off any cliff you wanted to. But since they did the map updates, that's a very bad idea. Do not do that unless you know what you're doing. Unless you know, A, I don't care if I lose my tank, or B, um, you know exactly where you're doing, you're, you're going now and, and exactly what will happen. Um, because I've seen experienced guys who, who thought they knew exactly what was going to happen. Just lose full health tanks doing that. Guys who know what they're doing. And now he's into firing gold because he doesn't have any more AP left. Now I, I wasn't paying attention to the start so I don't know how much AP he started the round with. Oh, so we get hit by artillery once again. Wait, it's right over there. We could just shoot the... Oh, no, actually we can't shoot the already. Again, he skirts down cliff. This one, not such... A, uh, a horrible thing to, to climb down and climb down pretty easily. You can actually shoot the artillery in a little bit. Not quite yet. Uh, as he comes around this corner, he should be able to. Looks like he's not going to get any more damage in on those guys. Actually, not going to get any more damage in this game as everything else dies. And he immediately sends an invite request to the VK4502B. The Brothers in Arms is available, right? So we're going to have to see if he gets there or not. Come back for a second. <laughs> we'll post bad results, right? Ace tanker. Are we totally surprised? No. Hand of God. Spotter. Bruiser. Fighter. Fire for effect. Shell proof. 159,000 credits made. Steel wall and a high caliber. Holy smokes. Just look at that. <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't leave the T95 alone. He did 1,300 damage just to T95 alone. I didn't realize he actually... F Wait, no, that's to himself. So, like, I didn't think he, he fought two of them, but no, no. This is when he fell down the cliff and damaged himself. That's what that's from. Um, <laughs> wow. This tank, I like it. Uh, doing four and a half thousand damage. It doesn't look like it should be a seventeen thousand or seventeen hundred experience game, but the fact is that he did it all himself. He spotted all his own damage. Um, he was the guy leading the charge. He was the guy doing the spying, um, and he did get his assistance damage for that. But he was spying for his own targets a lot of the time. That's why his his experience is so high. He also took a ton of shells to the face. And just kind of shrugged them off and kept going. Because, again, he was just above his opponents. And he could look down on them and laugh with glee. Um, so, well done, sir. Um, speaking of, you know, little teasers and stuff. I need more bonus clips, guys. I am running out. And um, I'm going to have to start doing bo bonus clip with... Or, yeah, clip with movies soon videos. It's going to be horrible. For those of you who have enjoyed the bonus clips, I need some more. It, you guys have all seen the bonus clips the past couple weeks. Funny, interesting, awkward, weird moments in World Tanks, glitches, whatever. I want to see them. Uh, all you have to do is grab the replay, 
Uh, you don't even have to upload it. You really can just grab the replay and email it to me. Uh, email address is on my about page on uh, the YouTube channel or just type in ioe 3 tv at gmail.com and just send me some bonus clips. I mean, it takes five minutes, not even. Just throw in an email. Tell me what I'm looking for, where I'm looking for it. You know, first half of the game. Again, Amorak kill. Two seconds. Send it all this way. I need those things, guys. Because otherwise, we're not going to have so much fun. Okay, well, that's enough chatter. And I actually just realized I don't have time to put a bonus clip on this uh, particular <laughs> episode. As it ran longer than I thought it was going to. But in all honesty, I'm okay with that. I do have a bonus clip for tomorrow. And then after that, I'm out and the well is dry. So send me some, please. Send me some. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. This is IOE throughout.